SLC Scoop, the insider's take on rugby's greatest prize. G'day, Murray Mexted again from the International Rugby Academy, bringing you this report from Cell C Scoop. Well, I'm back in Wellington now, and uh, what, a, what a great occasion it is in Wellington to have the Americans playing here against Australia. Now, two teams full of personalities, really. The Australians are you know, very gregarious sort of people, and the Americans are as well. So to see them playing and staying in this city entertaining themselves has been a delight. They really have added to the environment. On the field, the Australians were absolutely outstanding as soon as they got ball. So any ball with room to move, they just cut the Yanks apart. The Americans tried hard, plenty of heart, plenty of soul, but not really the technical skill to compete with the Australians. And you won't believe it, you not only get rid of the Americans and the Australians out of Wellington, but in come Argentina and France. Now, there are real extremes between the gregarious nature of the Americans and the Australians and the Latin flavour of Argentin Argentina and France. And I must say that the Argentinians are almost as extreme uh, as the Irish, but in a really jovial way. I mean, if you'd seen some of the match and seen the performance of the Argentinian crowd when they scored that try, against Scotland, the way they behaved, the, their personalities were exposed and even the coaches in the coaches box were all embracing and kissing each other. This is all men we're talking about here. Uh, a marvellous example actually really of, uh, of just rugby pleasure and unadulterated uh, excitement. So it's, um, it really is just getting better and better here in, uh, in New Zealand for this Rugby World Cup. Celsius Scoop, the insider's take on rugby's greatest prize.